So today I want to show you how to connect a lighting console or Artnet or DMX to send values straight into Notch to control all sorts of objects. So here I've got a quick basic little scene. I've got a light just here pointing at a couple of objects and very simple, we're going to connect a lighting console to control some lights. So I just light, I've got some normal lighting kind of parameters. So I've got a brightness control here and a color control and that uses uh, color values, red, green, and blue. So RGB color values, which is exactly what an LED fix uses. So for this, I'm going to be using Campsys Magic Cube, but you can use any lighting console. Um, Campsys is free and does have ArtNet output. I'm running this on two separate computers because I do find it is difficult to get stability issues with ArtNet over network on the same machine. So I'm running Magic Cube and I've set up a very similar fixture. It's a dim RGB fixture, so I can see channel 1 is dim, dimmer, channel 2 is red, channel 3 is green, and channel 4 is blue. And that's a very basic fixture. So if we jump into just a little visualizer built into Campsys, I can see I've got my intensity channel, my red channel, I'll just clear everything out, and intensity, I've got a blue channel, green and a red that I've programmed here onto these sliders. So if I take all those down, just red, just green, and just blue. So I'll leave them all up for now. And first thing I want to do is check that I'm actually receiving ArtNet data in Notch. So a couple of things to set up in the project. Settings. I've got a protocols and I make sure I've got Rnet enabled. And I've got my computer IP in here. That's the IP address of this machine to make sure it's using the right network adapter. I don't want to turn on these two for my project. You may for yours. What these are is these are the controls to control your notch scene. So it'll take the first couple of channels as scene controls, as play and stop and switching scenes. I want to use my first channel, so I'm going to turn them off for now because I don't want anything else being controlled in notch. And that's what I'm going to change here for now. Next, I'll open up the Rnet monitor, and in here I can see if channels are actually being changed. So if I just bring up my faders, I'll check that when I move the faders, these channels that show FF are being changed. So channel 1, there we go, channel 2, 3, and 4. It's very important to check here to make sure you're actually receiving data because it will cause you headaches if things aren't working further down the track. So looking just at notch now, Here's the lighting fixture we want to control. And to control this, um, you can put DMX values straight in to something. So I can send it and aren't anything straight to this. But I find it's better to use something like an envelope modifier just to ensure that we can reconnect things. We can use the same channel multiple times. And it gives us a bit of an overview of what's happening. So first up, we want to control the value here. So I'll set that to Artnet enabled, and it will be channel one for our dimmer. And we're going to be connecting that directly to the brightness channel here. So I can drag straight onto that brightness. Now, if we check that DMX value, that channel, if we're the fade now, I've come all the way to zero, but this is still on. So what I need to make sure is right now we're set to add, which means we're adding the brightness to the brightness that's already in this light. We want to replace that value and make sure we're only sending the DMX data. Now when I run that channel, we need to make sure we're playing the scene. And there we have control. Alright, I'm going to name this F5 to rename, I'll call it O1 Dimmer. And there we go. That's our first control channel. Move this up here, and let's copy and paste this. And we'll start creating the next channel, which will be, I'll name it first, O2 red, for our red channel. And if I set the value here, to channel two, and I want to connect that to the red channel here. So if I drag and drop that onto the red channel, we have a look, it's 
not actually controlling it properly. Because what we're actually sending is, if we look at this hover over, we're only sending it to the color value. But that's not giving us the proper control we need. We need just the red value. And to access that, we double click the light. And we'll see the individual values here. So it's not connected to the right one. So I'll move that just to the red channel. And now if I run that red slider, we can see we're pulling out the red color from that light. If I take down the blue and the green for now, we can see I've got full red control now. So I'll duplicate those, or control copy, and I'll rename them. So I'll make 03 green and 04 blue. And I want to do the same thing. So in the green channel, I need to change that to the number 3, channel 3. And the blue channel, I need to switch the artnet value up here into channel 4. And now I connect those straight in to the green and the blue. So these are all set into replace values now. So it doesn't matter what's in the light. The DMX value is going to take over and bring back up our controls. I now have individual slider control of each of those colors from the lighting console. Green, blue, red, and our master intensity fader. And we could control anything. So these data are just controlling a basic lighting picture at the moment. We could be controlling position data. And so let's have a look at that quickly. I'll bring in, we've got our this little symbol here, if I change its Z position. So I want to match this maybe with the, I'll use the intensity fader, so the dimmer value for now as well. So for the same thing, I'll copy that. And I'm going to use this to control the Z value. And now when I run that intensity fader, I can see it's moving that Z moving that along the z-axis. And I can set a scale maybe on this to make it a bit more prominent. So I can see it's moving a lot more. And I'll change this one back to add. So I want it to actually add to my scene. So I want to, it's a move from this position. So you can control anything from any parameters from the lighting console. I'll delete that for now and reset that to back where it was. And so just to lastly show, I've got a little chase here that's going to run through a few colors automatically from the lighting console. So we can see that running here. And that's full control and notch. So that's how you send DMX or ARNET values from a lighting control into notch.